dream comes true. You could swim along the river, all the way to the sea. You could fly up in the sky above the clouds and trees. You could plant a flower garden up on top of the moon. You could swing through the jungle all afternoon. Wherever our story takes us, I can't wait to see. Yes, friends, come and read with me. It's online story time. And welcome to Online Storytime at your Grand Rapids Area Library. I'm Miss Tracy. I'm Grandma Pat. And we are so excited to have you with us today. Hey, Grandma Pat, before we start talking about that really meowy thing we're going to talk about today, should we sing? We should. All right. Definitely. Storytime friends, would you sing with us? And remember, clap whatever you have. You don't have to clap your hands. Maybe your elbows, maybe your knees, maybe your eyes, whatever. Here we go. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, clap your hands. If you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, if you want to hear a story, clap your hands. And I so want to hear a story. So Grandma Pat, what do you want to talk about today? Well, this cute little guy here. That reminds me of a kitty story. Remember I said before I grew up on farm in Iowa? And one time there was a storm, and it was a pretty big storm, so we had to go down into the storm room, storm cellar. And I had a kitty, and her name was Cuddles, and she had three, the cutest baby kitties you ever saw in your life. Well, we all went down into the storm cellar, and we looked around, and there was Cuddles. Where were the kitties? Hmm. So we had to run back up, grab the box for the kitties, and bring them back down to the kitty's mother. And I always wondered about what Cuddles was thinking when she left her babies upstairs, and we came and rescued them. So we had lots of kitties for a while. <laughs> mm -hmm. So do you want to talk about kitties today? I think that would be fun. I've got a couple of really good books. That sounds great. And you know, it's nice with your storm story. It was a really good thing that you had a safe place to go in a storm. Yes, that's very, that's very, a very, a lot of people do that. If there's a wind blowing, they'll go downstairs just to, just to be safe. That's right. So, can we hear some of your kitty stories? You bet. I got a great one. You know, Miss Tracy, we're talking about kittens today, and I found a book that says this story is not about a kitten. Well, why are we reading a book that's not about a kitten? <laughs> There's a really cute kitten on the cover, so I think this is a mystery. I think we better figure this out. All right. All right. So, this book has some pages before we even get to the title page. Some pages of houses where people live. We have a mom and her daughter and a dog. Now, this is written by Randall Deceive and illustrated by Carson Elliott, Elliot Ellis and is brought to us by Random House from New York City. Okay, we're going to find out why this story is not. This story is not about a kitten. It says right there. But if you look over here, hmm, I wonder what that is. It's a kitten, hungry and dirty, scared and alone, meowing sadly, needing a home. This story is not about the dog. It's the dog. stopped when it heard the kitten, hungry and dirty, scared and alone, meowing sadly, needing a home. The 
This story is not about the dog's people who listened or the dog who stopped when it heard the kitten hungry and dirty, scared and alone, meowing sadly, needing a home. He's the kitten and all these people looking at him. <clears throat> This story is not about the woman who held the dog for the dog's people who listened or the dog who stopped when it heard the kitten hungry and dirty, scared and alone, meowing sadly, needing a home. This story is not about the twins who brought a box or the women who held the dog, for the dog's people who listened, or the dog who stopped when it heard the kitten, hungry and dirty, scared and alone, meowing sadly, needing a home. All these people are trying to help the kitty. The story is not about the man drinking tea. Who offered some milk or the twins who brought a box or the woman who held the dog who stopped or the dog's people who listened there's the box there's the milk what do you think is gonna happen to that milk hmm. and quietly carefully coaxed the kitten who clawed and hissed and fought a big fight. The kitten didn't know they were trying to help until, oh, there it is. There's the box the twins brought. There's the milk that the man drinking tea brought. And there's the kitty. We'll call her Amber, everyone agreed. But who could take her home? Landlord says, no pets. We're moving. I'm allergic. Could we? Oh, look at the kitty likes the puppy now. This is not about the child who asked, could we? Or the man who offered some milk. Or the twins who brought a box. Or the woman who held the dog for the dog's people who listened. Or the dog who stopped when it heard the kitten, now full-bellied and clean, no longer alone, purring happily, home. This story is about the stopping and listening, the holding and bringing, the offering and asking, and working together. It takes some time to get there. Amber is the sweetest. Can I visit her every day? Yep. Achoo. Gesundheit. I think that's the person who's allergic to the kitty. What a happy little buddy she is. I can't believe you two lived next door this whole time and we never met. More lemonade? Yes. Yes. See, these people got together because of that kitty. And this is the book. It was not about a kitten, but it really was. Hey, Grandma Pat. Yeah? Story time, friends. Do you want to do a flannel board? I love flannel boards. So do I. And this one, it probably won't surprise you, is about cats. This is our pet cat, and the pet cat's name is Kitty. That looks a lot like my pet Cuddles. She oh, was oh, that oh. color. K-I-T-T-Y. 
But we're going to play a clapping game with Kitty and her name, and we're going to learn about Kitty while we're doing it. Some of you might have played this clapping game before about a dog named Bingo. B-I-N-G-O, but we're going to play it K-I-T-T-Y. Now, after every verse, we're going to remove one of the letters of Kitty's name, and we're going to clap instead of saying that letter. That's going to be kind of hard. I'm going to have to listen very carefully. I think you'll all catch on pretty mm -hmm. fast. So our song starts out like this. I know a cat with perky ears and Kitty is her name. Oh, K-I-T-T-Y, 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 and Kitty is her name. Oh, nice job. Now, we're gonna remove the K from Kitty's name and we're gonna replace it with a hand to remind us that instead of saying the letter K, we're gonna clap there, okay? This is how the next verse goes. She makes a sound and it's meow. And Kitty is her name, oh. I-T-T-Y, I-T-T-Y. I-T-T-Y and Kitty is her name. Oh, nice job, friends. Now we're going to remove the I. And what are we going to put up? You got it, another hand. Now that tells us that we're going to clap two times before we go T-T-Y. Here we go. She makes a fuss when it's dinner time and Kitty is her name. Oh. T T Y T T Y T T Y and Kitty is her name. Oh, all right. I know I screwed up there a little bit, Grandma Pat. I, I just, caught on really fast. So I just mixed up a this. verse. It'll be fine. All right. So we're gonna remove our first letter T and replace it with what? You got it. Another hand. So now, how many times are we gonna clap? One, two, and three. All right, here we go. She likes to hide behind my chair and Kitty is her name, oh. T-Y, T-Y, T-Y and Kitty is her name, oh. That was excellent. What comes off next? You're right, what color is that T? Yeah, we're gonna take off the purple T and replace it with a hand. Oh my glory, how many times are we clapping now? One, two, three, four. Here we go. She likes to sleep in the sunshine and Kitty is her name, oh. Why? Why? Why and Kitty is her name, oh. You guys are getting really good at this. Now, Kitty, we're gonna take the last Y from your name, the very last letter, and replace it, of course, with a hand. How many hands do we have up there? One, two, three, four, five, five. Can you clap five times? Let's try. She is my favorite pet and Kitty is her name, oh. And Kitty is her name, oh. I think her name should be Clappy. <laughs> maybe, maybe her name should be Clappy. Hey friends, thanks for playing. That was so much fun. Miss Tracy, we're talking about kitties, right? Yeah. Oh, I have a book about a great big kitty. It's called Don't Wake Up the Tiger. Tiger? A, a tiger's not a kitty, is it? Well, uh, we're going to find out. 
And this is by Britta Teckentrup, and I love that name, Teckentrup. And it's brought to us by Candlewick Press. They're the best. And this part of Candlewick Press is called Nosy Crow. Here we go. Oh, there's that great big kitty. Shh. Tiger is fast asleep. And we shouldn't wake her up. All of these characters here. Ooh, what do you think they're going to do? But she's in the way. Whatever will the other animals do? They're in a big hurry, and they've got a big bunch of balloons to carry, too. Oh, dear. How will they get past without waking her up? Luckily, Frog has a very good idea. Frog is using his balloon to float over the tiger. Can you help make sure Tiger stays asleep? Shh. Let's pet her nose. That always works. Oh, good. Tiger is still sound asleep. Now it's Fox's turn. But look, Fox is too heavy for his balloon, and the balloon is dropping lower and lower. Blow as hard as you can. <laughs> Fox made it across. Good job. It's Tortoise's turn now. He's looking a bit worried because Tiger is waking up. Let's pet the tiger's tummy. There, nice and gentle. That will help her sleep. Do you think we did it? Yay, Tortoise got across. He couldn't have done it without you, but now it's Mouse's turn. And she's shaking so much that she lets go of her balloon. Oh no, she's falling right onto Tiger's head. Quick, let's sing a lullaby. And can you rock the book too? Everyone knows that tigers love to be rocked to sleep. Rock up the tiger in the treetop. I think that's gonna work. Let's see. Whew, that was close, wasn't it? Stork is the last animal to cross. She can step over the tiger with her long legs, but be careful, Stork. Watch out for the balloon. Pop! Oh, my goodness. I don't think the tiger slept through that one. What's going to happen? Oh, dear. Tiger is wide awake. That means it's time for her surprise birthday party. Happy birthday, tiger. Can you wish her a happy birthday, too? Was that surprising? Did that surprise you? It surprised me. Happy birthday, Tiger. Don't Wake Up the Tiger by Britta Teckentrop. Hey, Grandma Pat. Yeah, story time, friends. Do you want to do a song? A little too. We're going to do a shaker song today because we haven't done it in a while. But first, we're gonna do a hand song. Excuse me? Excuse? Of course. Story time, friends. Giraffe would like to join us. Hi, Grandma Pat. Hey, Giraffe. Hello, story time, friends. 
All right, Giraffe, you sit right here and you just get ready to do our finger play. All right, so everybody get your fingers out. And our fingers are not fingers right now, they're cats. And you can pretend they're kitty cats, meow, or lions, whoa, or tigers, whatever kind of cat you want. But here are our cats. We're gonna hide our cats behind our back, and here we go. Where is big cat? Where is big cat? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, cat? Very well, I thank you. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. All right. Now, do you think that you might have a little cat behind your back? Okay, you pick out which one you want to be little cat. Here we go. Where is little cat? Where is little cat? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, cat? Very well, I thank you. Meow, meow, meow. cats behind your back, did you? Here they are. And they can be your pet cats all day long if you'd like. All right, now, out of your story time kit, friends, I want you to find your shaker. And if you don't have a little shaker egg like I do, you can do anything. This, if you remember, is just some dried beans in an envelope, and I'll give that one to Grandma Todd. Anything that you can have to make a little bit of noise, you can use as a shaker. Now, first though, before we do, we are gonna do a cat shaker song, but before we do that, I wanna do a warm up. And this is one of my favorite shaker warm ups, but I picked it last week because it was very, 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 very a lot windy outside last week. I know, it was crazy, crazy windy. Not so much this week, but it was last week. And this is called, I Like the Noisy Wind. So we're gonna pretend our shaker is making the wind sound. Okay, here we go. I like the noisy wind. I like the noisy wind. It roars and mutters and shakes and shudders. I like the noisy wind. Then do it again. Okay. I like the noisy wind. I like the noisy wind. It roars and mutters and shakes and shudders. I like the noisy wind. That was Ooh. fun. I know, I like that song. Um, I prefer the noisy wind outside when I'm inside though. I don't necessarily like it outside when I'm outside. All right, now we are going to sing another song with our shaker and we're just gonna keep the beat. And the shaker song is called I'm a little kitty cat. All right, here we go. I'm a little kitty cat, nice and sweet. Here are my whiskers, here are my feet. When I go out hunting, mice beware, or you might just have a big scare. Another verse? All right, here's verse two. I'm a little kitty cat, watch me run. I jump, I twirl, I have so much fun. If I hear a noise that scares me so, I run to the bedroom, into the closet I go. Does your cat hide in your closet? I know a cat who likes to hide in closets. Hey, thanks for playing. Oh, Grandma Pat, I had such a fun day today. It was fun. We read about this book is not about a kitten, but it really was about a kitten, wasn't it? About a kitten and a puppy and all the neighbors that got along because they were taking care of that kitty. That's right. They all came together as a community. And that's really important that we can rely on each other. And then, don't wake up the tiger. Did you know that tigers were part of the cat family? Tigers and kittens are related. And I was a little scared when they finally woke up Tiger. I was thinking, oh no, what's Tiger gonna do? But 
But what happened? It was his birthday party. Birthday. So that was a lot of fun to celebrate. And then we clapped right along and learned about the kitty. But now I think it's time to say goodbye. I know I don't like this part. I know, but I do like singing. I do too. Storytime friends, would you sing with us? <clears throat> all right, here we go. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Story time is done today. Now it's time to go and play. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, everybody. Find the kitty to kiss. Bye.